Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today. Thank you so much for being here. Coming in off the back of yesterday's message beautiful souls and I'm smiling because the synchronicities between these two messages to yesterday. If you haven't seen yesterday's go if and you res, and you resonate with this one, go watch yesterday's and you'll understand what I'm talking about. The first card out today, beautiful souls, was cornucopia. Right? Like it's harvest season. Look at this fruit. Look at these beautiful divine rays and look at the number 11. And we're obviously in November, which is the 11th month. We've just passed through the 1111 portal. I keep saying it. You're going to be seeing these numbers everywhere uh, for many of you. And the clarifier, beautiful souls, I swear to God, this is the same message, but just with the thinking woman. Yesterday was the thinking man with, I think it was the door to healing and happiness, like literally just exactly the same, just different cards. Um, it's just unbelievable. I was like, wow. And the first thing they're showing me again is the butterfly. There was a butterfly on yesterday's card. Um, and they're just saying to over here, um, there's a butterfly, right? So just all of these things, beautiful souls, but this woman, so the thinking man yesterday was focused on his project, um, laser focused, they're just saying. And, you know, there was a couple of different meanings in that. That's why I've said go back and check that out. But the thinking woman, so she's got her a book. Some of you could be writing your own book, um, you know, or uh, be reading a book at the moment literally while you're seeing this message or you've been studying, you've been undertaking some kind of course or further education, self-development, whatever that may be. Um, but she, and she's also holding a scroll, right? She's holding like a scroll and there's another pile of books here. And she's in like this building, you know, this um, some kind of major societal building, you know, like a library, a government building, some kind of building that has influence. I, they just keep giving me the word government building, you know, like a, a justice, they're just saying justice system. So, you know, you could be going through a legal battle or something at the moment. You could be a lawyer studying law. Um, so many different things right now, beautiful souls. And they're just showing me the flowers as well, right? So it's not all bleak and gloom and doom, the butterfly and flowers. She's obviously a very intelligent woman, you know, the thinking woman operating from her mental space. You know, this to me would be myself, an air sign, right? So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, I don't normally go into astrological, but again, beautiful souls, it's just coming up to mention. Um, it doesn't have to be those signs, but that is generally um, air mentality. It's all about intelligence, thinking, thinking, thinking. We operate in our headspace. <laughs> and they're just saying... 47 reduces to 11, 11, 11. Oh my God. Sometimes when I do these messages, beautiful souls, even I get blown away as I really start to get into them. And so beautiful souls, 11, 11, you could be 47, but as I said, 11, 11 this month, it's going to be everywhere. One, 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 you know, you could be looking at the time and it's 11, 11. It could be one, 11, could be 11 o'clock. That's come out as well in the last week on different messages, but cornucopia, wishes fulfilled and this is essentially what this other card yesterday I think it was the door to happiness and healing or healing and happiness you'd have to go back and check and it was the thinking man with it so this is the same energy beautiful souls but with a divine feminine maybe there is a masculine and a feminine they're just saying right now because they're both mirror imaging they're saying it's a mirror image so you could be meeting your significant other for some of you out there in this season, 
right? They are literally going to be the mirror image of you and it is divinely guided. But cornucopia, beautiful souls, an abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you and you may even find all of your wishes are fulfilled. This cornucopia of gifts from God and the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. And that's why, as I said, beautiful souls, I don't normally do love readings or messages. If it comes through in my guidance, I always put it out there. As I said, yesterday was a thinking man. This is a thinking woman. This could be a twin flame relationship as well or you meeting a significant other, or whoever you are meeting in this season, this could be business related, you're literally meeting the ca your counterpart, um, you know, the, the, the same version of you in a male or female form um, through work, etc. Um, cornucopia, when you receive the cornucopia, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. Look at all that fruit, beautiful souls. Right in the, in the biblical days and in the Roman days and all of that, Egyptian days, you know, those big fruit baskets, that was abundance, right? That was overflow. That was blessings. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are now ready to be harvested in some significant way. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your effort. For some of you, this has been a year-long thing. You've been working on something all year or for quite a number of um, months, um, 11 months, right? So I'm feeling that heavily. For some of you, you literally started something at the start of this year and now it's about to pay off. You've been working behind the scenes diligently on it. Or, you know, this, this new opportunity is coming in in this month. Um, it may require, oh, sorry, your affirmation is the universe is abundant. All that I desire comes to me at just the right time in just the right way. I am blessed. Yes, you are beautiful souls. If you're alive and breathing, you are blessed. You are in front of a lot of other people. Ten fingers, ten toes, can breathe, can walk, can talk, have arms and legs, you know, can speak, can touch, can taste, can hear, can see. All of these things, beautiful souls, they are blessings that some people do not have. Remember that when you are, you know, down in the funk sometimes, how much you have to actually be grateful for. And I know that many of you do have a beautiful, grateful heart. And this is another reason why God is shining on you in this season. This is your harvest season. Harvest season, beautiful souls. Claim it, believe it, receive it. Number 47. <clears throat> Number 47, the thinking woman, female of wisdom and understanding. Well, this is exactly what the masculine was yesterday. This card shows a woman holding a book standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to higher understanding. Now, yesterday's message was very similar. Could be meeting a mentor, a significant other, a course or a program that you go through. Maybe, you know, you're going to have a female speaker. This could be you, beautiful divine feminines out there, um, studying at this time in a position of leadership. You've got uh, knowledge that people need to hear at this time as well. A lot of knowledge, they're just saying, by the books. Um, this woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings, or she could be a teacher brought into your life at this time to take you in a new direction. So remember, I've talked about destiny helpers too, beautiful souls. This could also be signifying these last couple of days, these destiny helpers coming in to help get you to the next level or to give you the information that will launch you into your next level. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious and aware. Or like the thinking man, 
The card could represent a side of yourself, remember we all carry masculine and feminine, that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. This is why we're here. We are of service to humanity at this time. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Time to speak up, beautiful souls. Whatever you know, and a lot of you, again, beautiful souls, have a lot of life experience. You have a lot of wisdom, right, that you will deliver to people. People need to hear it at this time, right? They're just showing me the butterfly again. You know, in some of those old movies where they open up a book and little moths fly out, but the wisdom that is in these books, beautiful souls, the wisdom that is in your heart space and the wisdom that is in your mind. And remember, this is past lives as well that you've been through. You have a lot of wisdom over many, many lifetimes. The affirmation is, I open my mind and my heart to my own inner wisdom. I am thoughtful, I am focused, and I am clear. And I believe, as I said yesterday, beautiful souls, this information, this knowledge, you being in this position of power, whatever information you have to go out into the world in books or courses or digital, whatever it is, programs, I believe that this is also going to be where this cornucopia, this harvest season is also coming from. So again, a couple of different messages in that read, um, you know, that they're downloading me with today. And again, they're just saying to me, look at the look at the difference between here, like that kind of bluey gray to the vibrancy and the color in this card, right? And again, these orbs of light, beautiful souls, your soul team are overseeing this. The angels are overseeing this. God himself this is ordained. This is the set time. I talked about times a week or so ago now, beautiful souls. It's nearly here. The time is nearly up. And remember what I said, 11, 11, 4 and 7 is 11 and 11 over here. These number codes are also going to be very significant for one or some of you at this time. Hit me up in the comments, beautiful souls. And as I said yesterday, you know, it does not have to be a specific female. It can be that we, because we carry male and female, masculine and feminine, these aspects of yourself could actually be coming up now as well, you know, taking the lead or you're coming from a more balanced masculine and feminine energy at this time. So beautiful souls, hit the little thumbs up button below if you've resonated with that message. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell, share these messages out with people that you think that may need to hear them. And of course, beautiful souls, as I always say, I'm sending you so much love, so much beauty, so much abundance, so much synchronicity in this season. I'm sending you all of these beautiful, beautiful blessings, beautiful souls, and I cannot wait to read your stories as they begin to manifest into your life. So beautiful souls, have amazing day and I will see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.